welcome to Homesteading the Pioneer Way. Well, today I'm rearranging my tent. I had put this tent up. Well, my daughter and grandson had put this tent up for me. And they put it long ways this way instead of the narrow end. Um, and instead of the long way this way. And so I didn't have much room to walk across down through here. So I have unloaded it. As you know, I had... Uh, started loading it with things that was in the little camper and uh, this is a two-room tent I have it set up usually you, you have the bedroom in the back and you have three windows one on each end and one at the back that you can unzip and uh, for the cool air and this one I usually set up for living room dining room but the back is where I'm putting the storage uh, things out of the storage room and this I've set up for a bedroom and a bath Well dining room also Here's my bed Here's my potty chair This is I've got to bring my bowl and my pitcher and then hang this mirror Up here and then this is a little table and chair I'm fixing to sit down and have uh, some lunch anyway you can unzip this, or you can get in from either side. It's got little hooks. And this is where I'm putting my storage. I've got a table over there in the corner. I've got a mirror there. The dresser is not in here yet, but it will go right here. And I've got all kinds of chairs. And some other things in there. Light pictures and things that I need to move. But for right now... I have set up a little, I, I work outside so much that I decided instead of having to stop and, you know, go in the house to take a, a break, to get a drink, to get a bite to eat or something, I'll just get something, set it out here, and <laughs> if I want to take a break, if I need to sit down and rest, or either go to the bathroom. I can just, don't even have to go in the house. I just come over here. I can lay down. I can take a nap. Or I can just rest for a little bit. And of course, all these open. This opens. And this is actually a porch. Uh, this opens to a big, all, this whole thing is screened in like this. And, of course, this is screened in, too. It's a window. And, of course, you can shut the door and even open it as a window. Half of it. The top half. More than the top half opens as a window. And it's screened, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't see. But, as you can see, it's screened also. But, anyway. Uh, this is a door. You open this. You can um, open this door, and it's got things to tie it back on each side. And this plastic thing right here, this uh, solid piece, this solid piece right here, you can unzip it. Let me go ahead and do it. And you unzip it on both sides. And it's got these it's got these ties. And what it is, you unzip both sides, you bring it out, and it's probably a eight foot porch. You just take these ties and tie them to a tree, or uh, there are stakes that come with them, but you can just stake it, tie it to the post. And it is a porch. That's why this is usually the living room with the uh, table and chairs. I usually have my cooler. Um, I have table and chairs and, um, you know, you pull a sofa or whatever. And then you, and like I said, this opens this, this opens that. This screen opens, that screen opens, this opens can't do it with one hand 
but the whole thing can be opened up and just walk out on the porch and there's uh, the other side <clears throat> see and you can open this whole thing and it makes a nice porch and I have folding chairs that I can put out here in a table and we'll just walk in out of the living room into the porch or because it's winter time I've closed the porch down because I will not be using it here very soon so I've already closed it down and uh, closed all the screens and close this. It's still somewhat nice out. Get those little Velcro tabs down. So that's my little tent. It's a uh it's nine by, um, no, 14. It's a nine person tent, it says. Camp Valley, nine by 14, nine person tent set up. And the entire top is screened also. And then this is a uh, rain cover. So I can take this rain cover off and just sleep under the stars, eat under the stars. And then of course, like I said, this is a window and the door. Let's see. So it's quite cozy in here. It's quite cozy. I'm going to sit in and I have got some cheddar cheese. I've got some salad crackers. I've got some smoked turkey um, sticks. Mm. And I've got some ginger ale. So this is my snack or lunch. I don't eat that much. I just snack. You should have fruit also, so I will have some fruit. After I have this. Mm. When you're working in the yard, you get hot, you get tired, or you just need a break. So I was setting this tin up to empty the cabin out, and I just thought, well, I didn't have that much I was going to keep in, from the cabin, from the camper. So I'll just put it in the back and then have me a little sitting room. And I can even take a nap, sleep out here if it gets too hot in the house. As you know, we don't use air conditioning. We have been trying to go off grid. So we haven't used air conditioning in several years. We, uh, the way we started was we'd wait till we absolutely could not stand it anymore and then we'd turn the air conditioner on. Let it cool the house. It wouldn't be on about an hour, maybe two, and we'd turn it off. And then it would slowly, of course, get hot again. But that's the way we started. The first year we started this, we thought, well, we'll just turn it on when we have to. So usually about 1 o'clock. 1.30, maybe 2, we would turn it on for about an hour or two. And just till we got, you know, to where we wasn't about to pass out. And then we'd turn it off. And so after it slowly would go down, back down, uh, then it would be cooler and uh, outside. And we didn't need it anymore. Well, the next year, 
we noticed that we didn't have to turn it on but about an hour and we were better with it the next year we hardly had to turn it on all maybe 30 minutes and we were fine and then uh the fourth year i believe we didn't even turn it on at all and it's been three or four years since we have used air conditioning at all and matter of fact, when I go somewhere that has air conditioner, I nearly freeze. So um, we've done real well with acclimating ourselves to no air conditioning and also no heat. We have um, gas heat in the house. And as you know, I've bought all kind of cabins and I'm buying uh, these little antique wood heaters. And they have eyes on the tops of them, some two, some four some six so that we can use wood heat as well as cooking and um, once we get completely off grid so years ago also we started cutting the heat down and down and down and using more and more blankets and quilts and of course warmer uh, night clothes and now we hardly even turn it on at all. Matter of fact, it's just the pilot light, basically, is about all it's on. And um, we've done just fine. I mean, sure, it's really cold in the wintertime when you get up to go to the bathroom. But you just run in there, do what you need to do, <laughs> run, jump back in bed. And um, it's nice and toasty. We've got uh, blankets and quilts and blankets and quilts. We've got... All kind of blankets and quilts so uh, we can put as many on the bed as we need to but anyway um, don't know why I said all that I didn't mean to talk about going off grid but uh, that's the way we have acclimated ourselves to the heat and the cold and um, so we can do without air conditioning and without much heat at night because as you know, uh, a lot of times you have to either get up and stoke the fire and add more wood to the fire. Or it'll go out in the middle of the night and it's cold when you get up in the morning. So, uh, we can do either or. But anyway, this is my little setup. I'm fixing to have, um, it's 2 o'clock. Uh, I've just now got to sit down to eat a bite because i've been working in the yard uh i have been uh, moving some more furniture out and about the time i get through with this little snack it'll be time to uh i haven't got the pot i just noticed i hadn't got the pot under the potty chair and toilet paper but i'll go get that and also i've got to get the little uh bowl and pitcher uh, the bowl sits on the top, the picture goes to the bottom, and uh, I'm going to hang that little mirror somewhere uh, over it. Anyway, that's what's going on the homestead today. I am moving stepping stones. I had stepping stones, and this is where the cabin was that I moved to the secret garden. Uh there was a walkway in front it was a walkway all the way down the side of it and it was 24 foot so i've been digging all them up because as you know over the years they just kind of seed in the ground and so i've been taking all those up and taking them to the land to make a walkway from the driveway to the cabin i think i shared that with you before i'm not real sure if not i will be sharing that next time we go to the cabin because I have already took, um, maybe, I've got maybe about a 10 foot walkway and I've got about a 14 foot to go to make the walkway to the end, to the road. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been taking up these concrete blocks to repurpose them for a walkway down at the, uh, the secret garden. And that's the name of the, uh, place we're going to be not only living as and as homesteading and um working 
uh, hopefully as a bed and breakfast, but also ministry. And so it's called the Secret Garden because of the ministry. So until next time, this is Homesteading the Pioneer Way saying, keep homesteading. <laughs>